hello uh, yeah so hello everyone uh, hope everyone is watching able to watch my screen uh, welcome to power bi online training uh, myself anand you are trainer for this training program so we'll have an in detail demo about the like what is power bi why power bi who can take the power bi how exactly will help you to grow in your career and uh, where Power BI is standing compared to another tools in the market like Tableau, ClickView, Power BI, uh, Spotify, different tools are there in the market. So let's jump into what is Power BI. So briefly introduce about myself. I'm a I'm a Anand, uh, your instructor for this Tableau uh, Power BI training, having 14 years of experience. I'm working as a data analytic PM. I have experience over Tableau, ClickView, Power BI, MSBI, and SQL Server. And I am providing training on all these different technologies. So today's agenda is what is a self-service BI? What is Power BI first of all? Why why Power BI? What is the need of Power BI? Demo or uh, you will see certain demo where you are creating a Power BI within a few clicks. So what you are going to understand in today's session is the best business, uh, the best business decisions comes from the best data as we know. That means if you if you want to take a good decision, it will come from data. Data should be good, and that's where Power BI coming into picture. Power BI is a cloud-based business analytical service. It is hosted over the cloud. Everyone can access and anyone can visualize the data. That means you will have a great accuracy, speed, efficiency, understanding your data with the help of Power BI. Getting started with the Power BI, just in few seconds, within you can click, you can download, and you can start creating visualizations. So all this story about the Power BI, when I'm telling anyone and everyone can explore the data within click Power BI, so we, we need to understand how exactly just by clicking or just by few drag and drops, we are able to generalize the view the data. So what is the behind the scene? Why we have to go for BI only? What is the need? for Power BI. If you see in the today's IT industry, uh, today different different domains, healthcare you take, energy domain, automated domain, you take the all over the different domains in the industry, the data growth is happening tremendously. If you see, if you compare last two years data, last two years data is 90% of data what we gather in the world till today. That means the two years data contribution is more than 90% happening over the data. If you see here, the data growth graph, the lot of heavy data generation happening in this last couple of years then definitely whatever the bi solutions was there till last 10 years or last five years those solutions not going to work on this heavy data and that's where the power bi's power comes into picture we have from microsoft msbi also but why the power bi need has came the need of power bi has came because understand lifting the data heavy data easily one thing second thing is the self-service BIs. That's the need of Power BI. What is a visualization? Many people these days are talking about data visualization. As the data growth is happening day by day, you cannot analyze the data. If I'm giving uh, data of 10 students and if I'm asking who is the topper means you can go to each and every student's marks and you can tell topper. But if I'm giving university, or college which where you're having lakhs of students and if i'm asking who is a topper or who is a 10th rank then you will start struggling that means as your data is growing you will struggle one more simple thing is if you have a simple data small data you can answer also easily so having a small data easily can be answered but not much information can be taken out of the internet <clears throat> <clears throat> okay so what i am telling is if you have let's take one example you are going to your mobile uh, mobile store to purchase a mobile and the mobile store guy is given only two mobiles in front of you so choosing one mobile is very easy because your data is small choosing is easy but you you don't have full control over what could be another mobile features and all that means if you have small data you can select easily but if you want to predict something that small data is not enough or if you want to analyze something small data is not enough so for that bigger heavy data or larger data or big data you want and to having a bigger data or larger data definitely 
you cannot analyze easily if i am giving millions of records to you it's not easy to analyze in that case only it required something which can help you to analyze the data more better and that's where data visualization comes into picture data visualization is concept where we are converting your data into visual format representing data into visual format and that's that's where power bi comes into picture so how, what is the self-service bi these days we are hearing a lot of uh, self bi word self-service bi self-service bi means the B, business intelligence who who can approach any data analytical things if you want to do anyone can approach that's the reason power bi have in a world anyone everyone can generate a data that means it is enabling anyone and everyone to visualize and analyze the data that's the reason it is called as self bi three products in this industry in this bi industry what are the top three products we have a lot many other projects if you see click is there dundas bi is there informatica is there or information builders are there oracle is there. lot many but when you are coming to top three bi products we will see tableau power bi and clickview so who has decided this top three products we will see that also there is a gartner report behind the scene to tell these are only the top three products so these are the top three products why or bi only we are choosing then out of these top three products we we seen top three products are not only power bi we have tableau and click also but why we are choosing power bi as it is a from great and uh, famous uh, vendor that is microsoft has uh, the power bi is coming from microsoft and as you know whatever the tools comes from microsoft they will do a lot of lot of research and they will support this tool for longer time that's the reason and very big as the as the name is bigger multiple people are joining with this tool that's the reason going for power bi is a good thing apart from that lot of great facilities are there and coming to our individual experience good pay scale is there high demand for this tool lot and in the market you don't find many resources of power bi and uh, payment is good that's the reason jumping into this tool is important into get into your career into greater speed and a lot of companies are using this tool who should go for this training then anyone who is a business analyst business intelligence ma bi managers stats not only this even the student can join this training the reason is you need not to learn anything pre request you you need not to have any pre request language you need not to know sql server you need not to know any dot net or any programming language nothing you can directly jump that means you you are not learning any coding things here you are dragging drop and lot of things you can do your visualization what is power bi power bi is a cloud based analytical service tool so it will help you to create visualizations in faster way you can analyze the data in 360 view discover the new new things within your data you can collaborate this visualization with a mobile tablet and all you can share the data you can share to the you can make the security to the uh, reports all these things you can do with the help of power bi if you go through the power bi scenario what you are seeing here is within a power bi desktop you are creating a visualization your data could be on premises or within a, or the cloud that means my data could be on the cloud or it can be within my own infrastructure within my own network that is on premises or cloud so we are connecting to the data and we are creating a visualizations once the visualizations are ready we are hosting over the cloud that is called as cloud power bi service which is hosted over the cloud and once the visualization is published there we are creating a reports over power bi desktop and publishing over the power bi service and there we can do visualizations of dashboard part well, and you can control you can restrict who can access and all all these configurations we will do in the power bi service and finally the end users can access these visualizations from tablet from mobile from desktop or any other devices that means it is supporting all the devices and all the platform android and ios also so let's see we said we are going for power bi only what is the reason behind that if you see the gartner report gartner is one of the famous survey happens uh, it's about which tool is good for it industry completeness and ability to execute there are two axes over the this analyzing will happen 
there are three quadrants first quadrant second quadrant third and leaders leaders this is the topmost quadrant if you see during 2012 and 2013 microsoft was there in leaders quadrant then 2013 microsoft is came more topper 2014 w and click was taken over the positions and 2015 again and tab 2016 and 2017 if you see this is the 16th one and this is the 17th one by 16 and 17 you can see microsoft and tab standing side by side and microsoft is getting into a richer and richer position and if you see the completeness access wise microsoft is high and ability to ex uh, execute microsoft is equivalent to tab that means Microsoft is far going better and better compared to Tableau. That's the reason getting into a tool which is a very good for your career that will help you to grow in your career. So let's understand the history about the BI evolution from Microsoft side. Microsoft is not new for the BI side. It is as old as like before 2000 also we used to have. So let us see the understanding like how the how the growth has happened so by 2014 different different parts has came for the power bi like power query power map all these things and different different components started evolving as a part of power bi like power pivot is there power view is there power query is there so many people are providing a training on this individual components power view power query and power pivot but that is not up to the market the reason is in industry we are not using these small small components excel plugins these are in industry we are using latest technology that is called as power bi so don't go for trainings of power view power query and all those all are old technologies power query power pivot power view power map now this all the things are combined into single component that is called as power bi so you have to learn whenever you are learning a power bi learn power bi not this individual components these are all for purely for excel plugins so if you see here free excel plugins was there in 2013 for power query power pivot power view and power map so what exactly this will do power query will search the data or connect the data it will clean the data that is the use of power query power pivot will create a data model power view will create a reports or visualizations and all power map will help you to create a map things so those all are in individual plugins so anyone who is trying to get a power bi training don't get a training into these individual components because this is a five years back old technology and many people still with the name of power bi they are teaching the same thing it's not like when you are going for it industry or when you are going for the live production definitely you'll see with the help of power bi desktop so power bi desktop is nothing but collection of all individual components which five years back it used to be called as power query power pivot power view power map all individual components has been plugged in by microsoft with the name called as power bi desktop and this is where we are calling experience your data anytime anyway anywhere that's that's a tagline used by microsoft you can use the power bi desktop to create visualizations like this the report so key benefits of key benefits and differentiation of power bi are it's a you have an inbuilt dashboard on the power bi service you can access the data over the real time you can secure your data your on-premises data and cloud data also you can explore the data by using no, not only just dragging and dropping you can just type the text like i want to see top three employees in uh, top three employees in my company it will give the visualization for you you can write your natural language that's the benefit of that is called as q a in power bi okay so this is what the power bi power bi can do power bi service contains power bi content pack live dashboard visualizations reports data sheets all these things you can see in the power bi service i will show in few minutes uh, after this completing slide i will show the desktop how to download how to get the desktop ready how to create a visualization how to push on the power bi service how to publish also so we are in this training whatever we are in the short time we are trying to cover is from end to end from downloading installation to till hosting the power bi or the power bi cloud service so power bi approach this is a power bi approach we will build a data set we will make a report we will consolidate the reports into dashboard and we will share the data over the power bi thing 
that's that's about the power bi if you see the architecture of the power bi uh, in the regular sessions we will get into more detailed into architecture right now you can think like here power bi desktop is there and this power bi desktop can connect with on premises data like sql server sql server and all or you can excel xml all these file systems or you can connect with the cloud azure data services also you can connect with the cloud data and finally you will get the data into power bi desktop you will create a visualization and publish that visualizations or power bi service power bi service once you publish it will contain data sets reports and data sets once the day once the power bi dashboard power bi reports are get published over the cloud you can create a dashboards and then finally end user comes into picture he can access with the mobile he can access with the tablet we can he can access with the what you call a desktop or laptop a lot of ipad ios uh, your mobiles and all so that's about this one so what we have seen just now is with the power bi desktop you will create visualization publish your power bi service and finally people can access with the help of different different devices let's talk about the pricing as uh, maybe some of you are from managerial side or costing side and they are business analysts who want to understand about the cost also so let us cover the cost also power bi desktop is free free to download you can download it freely but when it is coming to real time project when you want to give security when you want to share someone the free version is not going to work and that's where we are coming into power bi pro power bi pro and power bi premium we have two flavors for the corporate level but power bi pro we have certain restrictions of extracting a data sharing to customers and all that's the reason we have to when we are doing a production thing we will always go for power bi premium whereas in the development we can go for power bi pro or power bi premium and the license was license cost is 10 dollars which is very 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 lesser compared to your tab view or click view 10 dollars per user per month and the capacity of the data will be good when it is coming to premium one and the plan of your cost for premium is not disclosed directly it is all based on your company which is connecting and getting collaborating with microsoft to get partnership with on this power bi okay. that means all this is depends upon your cost is depends upon your profile of your company usage of your data and all so power bi pro is ten dollars power bi premium that's all depends upon your profile of your company how to create uh power bi content and all we are going to see first prepare a data then once the prepare remove columns row columns delete columns modify table all these things data corrections and all we will do here once the data correction is done explore the data exploring data means drag and drop the data over the power bi desktop create uh, reports visualizations and all finally one report is ready once the report is ready you want to share it share over power bi service once the power bi service will get the report you can publish the power bi report and you can see the visualizations let us see the demo let's have an one practical demo how to get how to create these visualizations to create this type of one report within a very short time so let us see how to create a power bi desktop in next 10 to 15 minutes <clears throat> so first of all you want a power bi desktop right so how to download a power bi desktop go to here write down power bi come to your power bi data site You will have sign in option, right? Or you will have free start free. Once I click on start free, you will you will you will get the these are the different different products in Power BI. So once you click start, you will get Power BI desktop. I want to get Power BI desktop because I want to create a visualization first. So download the Power BI desktop. Click on Power BI desktop and download free. Okay. Once you click download free, you will start downloading one file so this is the file which you are able to see downloading once the file is downloaded just click on this file and click next 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 finish that's it you are not configuring uh, even single line also everything is next 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 and finish once the installation is done you will get 
in this way power bi desktop once you launch this power bi desktop let us launch the power bi desktop i am launching power bi now power bi desktop is purely for developer purpose where you are creating where we are extracting a data getting a data and creating a visualizations so this is this is the place where you are building a, your reports so let's load the power bi desktop Finally, it has been loaded. Once it is loaded, you will see that Power BI Desktop will have some pop-up window. This window is talking something: how to connect the data and all, some resources and all. So I will what I will do? I will just close this window. You will see this screen. Basically, this screen is our development screen. This screen contains. If you are watching here, you will have. If I take a pen. So this is the report view. This is a data view, and this is a relationship view. Because as I have now, and this is these are the visualizations which we are trying to build, and these are the properties which per per visualization some properties is there which we can set. This is something which is a formatting. This is something which is for properties. These are all are common menu items which we will use at the top level. So let us see one by one what we can do with each and everything. First, let's do a sample. One small POC we will do, where which will help you to understand end to end. So first thing is get the data. How to get the data in this? So click here. You are seeing lot of data sources: Excel, Power BI Service, SQL Server, text file, web data, blah, blah 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 things. If you want to see more data, click on more. You are seeing here the file systems: text file, XML, Excel, all these share SharePoint folder. If you want to connect with databases, SQL Server, or like Net as a MySQL, huge list of databases are there. Uh, Amazon Redshift. If you want to connect with Azure, uh, Azure databases or the data sources, or uh, SQL Server data source, Blob data source, Data Lake, different different sources are there. If you want to connect with the online services like uh, Google Analytics or uh, maybe Dynamic 365 or Dynamic uh, Dynamic side, you want to connect or with the help of uh, uh these are the different online sources available if you want to connect from if some uh, one of your customer is asking get the data from github you can connect here so a lot of different sources are there that means click view uh, power bi is supporting huge list of data sources if you compare with click view or if you compare with tableau this data source collection is very higher and richer compared to your click view or tableau so connect with the excel click on excel connect excel and get the data so what i am doing connect getting a data from excel so click here get the data from excel launch this and go to your place where your excel file is located so let me get into excel file location so my data sources my demo data in demo data i will get this excel if you open this excel this is a sample excel file i'm opening this excel file contains some data segment country which country which product what is the discount given how much units sold who is the manufacturer selling price gross so this is all the sales details which month which year all this so this data if i'm asking in which month higher sales you cannot answer which country which country is giving higher sales you cannot answer total sales for highest uh, highest sales you cannot answer by just seeing the simple this data and if you see this data collection is around 700 records are there you cannot easily tell 700 records data so that's the reason we will take the 700 records and we will connect with the power bi to analyze this data so here click here training and i'm going to watch here power bi and here i am connecting to my data source that is sample financial and connect once you click connect it is extracting a data from this file and it is giving a data for you to analyze it See, uh, in this file we have two tabs which data you want to extract i want to extract financial data you can preview the data if you want to 
edit or if you want to modify some rows or if you want to re remove some click on the edit you will get this is the data modeling area which is called as power query previously okay but this is all plugins previously now it is all in bit so forget all this old technology words so here you are getting all the columns if you want to remove columns if you want to choose columns if you want to keep particular columns if you want to split some columns so all these different different things data manipulation part we are going to do in this window and all the steps are recorded here and close this so right now in my current example i don't want to get into such complicated things so just i am closing and i am loading a data as is So data has been loaded you can see here the financial one table has been kept so this is the area where fields will be shown data fields will be shown here once the fields are shown here come here and start analyzing your data you are seeing here these are the report area if you see here this is the report area this is data area where you can see the data and this is the area where relationships you can see because currently in my structure only one table is there so that's the reason one table if you have multiple tables relationship and all we will create here editing queries and all the things we can do here so this is the relationship this is the part where table data will see and this is a part where visualizations we want to create so now let us see what we said we, we want to analyze this type of report so first thing is let's create like you want to see segment wise sales is segment what is a sales so let us take total sales i will just simply drag and drop or simply select the, this one okay either you do this one or just simply click here sales you are getting some sales what is sales here i don't know how much sales this is i want to see the value or sales click on here format come to ta data tables and click on that means over the bar you will start getting this value okay so this is how the value over the bar but i don't want to total sales i want each segment sales so simply come here and click on segment if you click on the segment you are seeing each segment total sales right so government segment how much sales this one this one this one each individual if you want to see clearly click on focus mode so now you see full screen you are able to see government 53.3 uh small uh, small business this much enterprise this much mid market this much so this is how exactly a visualization we are creating just within minimal clicks and come back to the report see here if you want to make it colors in different different things you can make it colors also in different look and feel take the segment and put over legend each bar will have different look and feel see you are able to see each bar is having different look so this is how exactly we can create this one. okay you can create you can change the orientation and all we can change uh, horizontal vertical so this is how we are telling sales by segment what sales we are getting in each segment we have seen just now next thing what we are going to see uh product country wise sales so select the country and drag and drop you are seeing automatically power bi understand country means map so it is generating a map that means see you are, here it has been automatically selected as map so you are creating one visualization which is talking about country wise sales i want to see each country sales so just i will use this way country wise sales you want to see or country wise profit i want to see simply select the profit sorry make map selection and select the profit so now you are seeing in each where you are seeing here the profits see canada this much profit france this much profit this if you want to see the values over this this thing just come here and enable the values or enable the bubbles how big are you want to see and all so category labels you can allow see okay data colors if you want to change you can change the different color of this highlighting as for your requirement okay this is how exactly the map map is created 
so once the data data creation is happening uh, then let's put one more visualization and then we will jump into another part uh, next is product wise sales so each product how much sales we have done now see product wise sales map you have seen product wise sales you are seeing so let me put everything in a more better look and feel so that you will feel as if we are doing a smaller POC. Alignment you can do here. And you want to see each month how much sales also. So each month how much sales, what is the say, how much sales we got and what is my profit also. How much sales and how much profit. And I want to see into tabular format these details. Okay, and I want to get filters. I want to see country wise uh, this, this way filters. So, what you have to do? Keep here country and click on the slicer. This is a slicer. So you are getting a filter here. See. Segment also you want to filter. So see, simply click here and click on the filter. It will convert into filter. Next, what uh, what else? Country you want to country we have given segment we have given month name month wise filters you want to see each month filter. And this time month I want to see. I have kept a month wise filter as well. So let's take month wise filter with a scroll bar. See, you can scroll here and you can see here each month filter. I want to I want to put my company logo here so that uh, uh, so that people can feel that this report is for whom. So I will put my BASP logo, my organization logo. I'm placing here. BSP and I want to put the report name so I will put the logo here and I will put the report name this report is talking about something what is the term something sales report sales report annual sales report annual sales report and you speak this or just to put a sales report as Sales report and put the size something around 40. Sorry, mm. something is going on here. Okay. I think my text is going somewhere else. Let me put here. Sales report. Okay. What is the size you want? And report. And the size of this is, I want to give 40 size. And I can make 60. Okay, this looks good. 60. I want to make it bold. I want to change the font into a different way. Maybe Arial, and uh, I want to change. I think those all are good, and I want to link this to my website. Whatever the, my website is there, like BSP website, double dot. Whatever the website is there, your website company website dot com, and done. Now you see your report is more. Like you know, professionally, it is looking. Now, see, this is the report which I have created for you. Okay, once the report is ready, we want to publish it. So, let me understand if everything is okay and anyone having any questions. No, that's fine. So, our report is ready. Now the report, once the report is ready, we are generating a report where in 
Power BI desktop. Once everything is ready, I want to publish it. Where to publish? I will publish over my Power BI service because when I was going through these uh, demo slides, I have shown you one place where I am taking create the visualizations at this one Power BI desktop level and then finally host the visualizations. See, Power BI desktop is creating these visualizations and Creating visual, see, I have got the data from sources with the help of Power BI Desktop connected and now publish into cloud. That is Power BI service. How to do that? Let us see. Next step publishing. Come here and publish. So get this is publish part. Click on the publish button. Once you click on publish button, if you has never signed in to Power BI, then it will ask login to Power BI because I am already signed in with my account. So it will directly go into my account. Okay, so publish whatever the email ID I'm showing it is a dummy ID, which is helping you helping me to create a publishing account. So how to publish do you want to uh, power be a desktop? Do you want to save it? Yes, save it. I will call this as demo demo which month this is the month of Feb 24. 2018 24 Feb 2018 today's demo now I want to publish it so click on the publish I have done the clicking of publish now it will ask the normally sign in once you click sign in your username and password if you don't have username and password just sign up and register it okay I will tell you that process so publish and it will ask you select the destination where you want to publish it i will tell my workspace and click select in my workspace it is started publishing the visualization once the visualization is published it is asking you do you want to open it yes click on open <clears throat> it is asking to sign in with my account okay so let me go and let me get into chrome i think in my chrome my password is Saved also, so that I need not to type my user. Oh no, unfortunately, no. So just sign in here, sign in and get get my credentials somewhere. My login credentials I have stored. So one second, let me pause the video for one second and let me get my credentials. Okay, so on and I'm I'm doing the my sign in. So just a minute, sign in. Ask now you can see it is asking my password. I'm giving my password and click sign in. Once the sign in is done, it is asking. Don't show it again. Don't show this again and. Uh, that's it. Login. <clears throat> Once you log in, you are able to see in my workspace. This is the report which I have published. If you are seeing here, demo to Feb 2018. Click over here. You are seeing my report has been published. Okay. If you want to share to my friends, I can come here, click on this because I am using my trial account do you want to get free because power bi as i said trial will not help you to share the report that's the reason you should be having power pro in the development we will have power pro or premium i will tell try power pro for premium because 60 days it is in trial update my account and start free trial once you click start free trial you are going to see here trial will be came here with the word power bi pro free trial 59 days left now you can come here and you can see my report you are, you are clicking on the report my report has been came now you are able to see my report if i want to share to someone click on share and you can give the email address of that person who is within my own organization so i can blah blah thing at the rate some email id and i have to share this report okay if i want to publish to some another website suppose 
come here files and publish to web once i click on publish web it will create a embedded so click on publish see this is the iframe which is creating i can send this link directly to one of my friends let's let's come here on this another web and in the email when you give this url when you click this url you will see or be i will directly open that report for you to the concerned person whom you are sharing now you see he need not to have ta any uh, any particular device directly tablet mobile or anything he will come and he will start seeing this visualization now i want to see canada wise sales simply select canada canada sales are coming canada sales french sales see french sales are coming i want to see in the only enterprise model enterprise level data just click enterprise are gone right and you will see this one related enterprise or government you can select a small business you can select or april month data you can select you can filter the data april month or july month if you want to remove the selections simply select this remove the selections if you want to remove the selection from french i want to see all over the world just come here and uh, remove the selection of this one so in this way we are just doing individually if it's an pieces you have kept here and your dashboard is ready within few minutes so this is how we can create a dashboard we can share the dashboard and you can analyze not only this if you want to embed this report into someone's website like let's see i want to embed this into website let me tell you some online html editor i will take for convenience online online html editor let us take this html editor this editor let's imagine your website is there and you want to publish these visualizations within this so what i have to do i have to write my code here so what i will do here uh, i will write a code and you see it's not with uh, any good editor if it is there three schools in w3 schools this is good so see inside this i am putting my tag this tag i have kept and refresh run once you run you are seeing your power bi report is started loading here are you observing here see any website you can go and embed in your website you in your corporate website you can embed your report also as you are seeing here right where i have embedded in w3 schools i have directly gone here and i have embedded the my html code to get my report inside w3 school so this is how exactly one sample i am showing here how to get a report if you want to give a width and height uh, bigger and smaller those things also we can control see this is the report size if you want full screen size or uh, bigger size uh, you can make full 100 or something and you can run the code once again see a bigger size of visualizations will be loaded see you are able to see my report which is embedded in different site and you and once again you can start doing the analyzing you want these three months the government data just click on the government you want this one data you can click on this one and you can start exploring the data by just by clicking you can start exploring the data see government data i want to see or you want to see here or you want to see north america's data particular data you can see only february data you are clicking over the visualizations not only you can filter by just clicking on the filters or the visualizations also you can interact that is the reason it is called as or we is called as enabling anyone and everyone to visualize and analyze data with greater speed accuracy speed and understanding the data within no time drag and drop and you will get a dashboard ready for analyzing that's it from my side uh, so now you can unmute Mohit. you can unmute the people and if they have any questions they can ask